Today we're going to talk all about the basics of using a drill. Let's do this. I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture and Home, and I wanted to do a series on the basics of using power tools. This is for all of you who are maybe a little afraid to pick up a power tool and just start making something. So we're gonna dive into the basics of a few of my favorite tools and tools that I think that you need to know about. We're gonna to start today with the drill because this is one of the most useful tools to have around your house. So let's dive in. I'm not going to speak in a very technical way. We're gonna just talk as if I am just telling you what I know about a drill and how to use it. So this is gonna be a normal people speak and in a way that you can feel comfortable picking this up at the end of this video. So I hope. Um, please use common sense in using any power tool whatsoever. Um, just be aware of always where your fingers are and if you feel like you need to use safety, eye protection, and ear protection, do so. I don't feel like that's super necessary with the drill. It's not very loud, but we will definitely use this in later videos. I have a couple of cordless drills here. Uh, this one happens to be my favorite. We've had this one for a long time. The more expensive the drill is, generally speaking, the longer the battery life. So sometimes it's worth spending $100 on a drill that you know will last you a really long time. This is what they almost all look like. There is a battery that comes off, usually attached to the bottom, and there's a separate charger for your battery. And charge it up, and you just click it on to make sure that the battery is securely on there. If you ever kind of don't click it enough, it will not work whatsoever. So make sure you click it so it will work. There is a trigger for your finger, and this turns it on and off, obviously. Um, and there are two switches on either side of the trigger with an arrow that shows the direction that the drill is pushing. So you can reverse it using this button here on the left side. And to go forward, we use the button here on the right side. So just be aware of that as well when you are drilling something. There is a drive feature at the top of most drills, usually with a one and a two. I would say 80 to 90% of the time you're gonna have it in the first gear. Second gear gives you a little bit more power and a little more drive. So if you are um, drilling holes in a piece of wood and you need a little bit more power, you can try to put it in the second gear. Same with this function here on most drills. There are a series of numbers and this goes with the power that allows the drill the torque that it gives it. You can adjust this if you feel it's necessary. I usually kind of keep it somewhere in the middle around the 14 to 16 mark and that's fine. This is your chuck here. This is how you open and close the teeth on the front of the drill. So let's put uh, just a Phillips head drill bit in here. The way that I do it is I'll slide it in and obviously it's much too big, it's too wobbly. So you hold your drill bit with your thumb and first finger, grab your chuck with your other fingers and just slowly with the drill in the forward position, just slowly push on the trigger. This is going to close up those teeth until it grabs it. You gotta keep it straight. You'll see if you have it crooked. Once it grabs it, let go with your fingers. Hold on to your chuck with your whole hand until it clicks. And that means that this is secure and tight and ready to use. Not all drills have that clicking. Um, this one doesn't. You just hold it until it's tight and then you'll be sure that your drill bit will stay in place. Now, to take the drill bit out, we're gonna do exactly the opposite. So you'll put your drill in the reverse mode, grab onto your chuck, and do the opposite. This will loosen up. There we go. And then if you need to put something bigger, this is a bigger drill bit. We'll open up those teeth a little bit more until that fits inside. Slide it in and tighten it up just like that. 
So that's really all there is to the technical part of a drill. Um, keep in mind that these are fantastic to have for so many home DIY projects. Everything from hanging a picture on the wall um, to building in your workshop. Let me just show you how these work when we're drilling a hole in the wood so you can see it in action. All right, let me show you how to drill a hole in this board. This is just a pine board. You're going to want to be sure that the drill is 90 degree angle to the wood. If you have it cockeyed, that will obviously give your hole an angle to it, which you may want at some point, um, but we're going to keep it at 90 degrees. Now this drill bit has a little teeth, little tooth at the top that really kind of grabs into the wood so it stays secure. I'm just going to start slowly, increase. Now you can see it's going pretty slow. So what I might try and do, let's try it in that second gear and then I'll show you what the difference is. Now, see how much more power you have. You always go all the way through the wood with it still on, keeping it on, you come back up and that will kind of clean up your hole as you pull out the drill. That's how you drill a hole. Now, let's put a screw into this piece of wood. We'll take out the drill bit, turn it back into that first gear. And we'll put a screw in, in the same way I hold the screw and let it twist just slightly, but don't hold so tight that you're gonna cut your fingers. Some screws are sharp just until it gets going, until it gets a bit of grab, let go. And then you can drill all the way through. One quick tip for you, let me show you one more drill bit. If I'm building anything, I've told you this before, I like to get screws that have a square top like this. This, I just feel like grabs the wood. The teeth are really sharp on this screw, it grabs the wood really quickly. And something about that square tip holds the screw a lot better, a lot more securely. Uh, it's almost like it saves you from having to hold it in the perfect place. It just grabs it better and you can drive it in. Just like that. And just like that, you know the basics of how to use a drill. Check out this video here for the last project we did in which you can use a drill. And check out this playlist for easy things that you can build using your new power tool skills. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and we will see you next time.